Educators can use the UDL framework to guide them in creating lessons that are going to reduce, minimize, or eradicate any potential learning barriers their students might encounter. However, the key to an effective approach here is to ensure that you know your students as much as possible. Getting to know your students will mean you will know what the potential barriers to their learning are. And in doing so, you will be able to create effective resources. Effective learning is built upon effective relationships and UDL will be a result of you and your students working collaboratively. Knowing the basic UDL principles will not only help you create effective resources, but it helps you engage with your students in the right way in order to be informed about how they learn best, which of course will result in you creating more effective lessons. Practically speaking, incorporating UDL means that your units of work are rich and varied in terms of resources, that all of your students will have enough tools and information to access the knowledge in a variety of ways. This might mean creating multiple versions of a unit of work or just ensuring there are lots of options and tools for them to accomplish the tasks. My top tip for using the universal design for learning the first time is to ask yourself some honest questions. How excited would you be to do this unit of work? And then ask yourself the same question for each of your students. Will this work intimidate any of your students? If you can answer these confidently, then you're well on your way to applying a successful framework. However, the main thing to remember is that the key to universal design for learning is empathy. If you know your students well enough to empathize with them, then you will naturally create effective resources. Okay.